Thanks again for stopping by, everybody. This is Budget Wine with Bacchus Bruce. Really pleased to have you here today. Kind of have a special wine here today. This is a uh, Bobic. This is coming out of Croatia. A good friend of mine, uh, Elaine, who happens to be, Cro be Croatian, uh, was uh, back home recently, and uh, I said, bring me back a bottle of Bobic. I hear good things about it. So here we are. Um, this is a wine that she picked up for about $7 uh, equivalent currency in U.S. dollars. Um, so let's go ahead and kind of decipher for the label a little bit uh, because it again it's not designed for the US market it's uh, uh, it's all in Croatian we got to kind of figure out what we got so uh, the name of the winery is called the Vinoplod Vinarisha Vinarija can't really pronounce it. Uh, Vinarija is uh, Croatian for winery, and Vinoplod would be the name of the actual winery. Uh, this is located in an area called the Šibenik, which uh, is on the Adriatic uh, coast, and uh, kind of a well-known um, area for uh, wine production. Uh, the northern Dalmatian area is uh, technically what they uh, call this region, and uh, Dalmatia, uh, as we all know, is uh, famous for the dogs, but it's also uh, very famous for um, for the for the diversity and the quality of the wines that are produced um, uh, in that area. So uh, in in Europe, you you sometimes run into red wines that are um, off dry. Believe it or not, here in California. You very rarely see that. So the wine label does designate that it is a, a, a dry style. So they call it a suho verba, uh, suho being dry, uh, a verba being a harvest. So it kind of designates that you know that you're not going to have any residual sugar uh, in the wine and it's going to be uh, a dry, much like we would uh, kind of expect here uh, as a default in, uh, in California. So this particular winery does three tiers of wines. They have a, a, a like a table wine, then they have a, a, a quality wine, which is what we have here, then they have what they call the top quality wine, which uh, would technically, I guess, be like a reserve style. Uh, so this one, uh, what they call the quality wine, uh, Kvalitetno is a uh, Croatian for uh, good quality. So I'm um, very excited to try this wine. So um, let's go ahead and kind of just jump right into it here now that we've got all the, uh, the translation behind us here. And on the nose, we have uh, a lot of really uh, intriguing uh, complexity going on. Uh, kind of catching me by surprise. So it's actually profiling a lot like a, like a Cabernet Sauvignon, quite honestly. So you're getting uh, some juniper berries, uh, you're getting some black currant, uh, you're getting some uh, kind of wild raspberry, blackberry notes, uh, but you're also getting kind of a, a kind of a vegetal side, which uh, you know we talk about pyrazines and we talk about kind of uh, green bell peppers. Um, which is usually an indication that the wine is a little bit underripe, but, but this particular one actually does not smell. It just has a little bit of that uh, in the nose. It's really intriguing, and it's a, it's a very complex, actually. For a kind of a simple $7 wine, uh, there is quite a, a lot of really good things going on in the nose. So let's go ahead and see what we have on the palate here. And... Um, Boy, it's so different from the nose. You you don't have any of that gushy kind of California fruit. Um, it's really more like uh, black tea, uh, tobacco, um, a kind of an earthiness to it. A little eucalyptus. Uh, does have really nice acidity actually, which is which is great. It uh, would make it uh, a very suitable food wine. Um, on the finish, you have a kind of a a, a little bit of a like a, a like a raspberry, but uh, it's more of an earthy style, uh, kind of uh, more of an herbaceous style. Uh, which is is really just screaming for food. It certainly could be drunk by itself, but it's one of those wines that I think would certainly be uh, better suited for uh, a, a dinner, like a nice pork chop or uh, maybe like a, uh, a flank steak or something. Not too fancy, uh, something with a little bit of fat to kind of uh, uh, work well with the, um, the flavor profile. But it is really terrific. Um, getting... Um, 
a lot of really interesting things. So um, if you can find it here in California, uh, definitely look for it. It's uh, again the Vinoplod Vinarija uh, Winery. And uh, if you are in Croatia uh, on the North Dalmatian uh, area, uh, you can certainly go visit the winery here. Now it's kind of funny, you take a look at their website and they're open Monday through Friday, they close at 5, and closed weekends. It's so uh, different from here in California where, if, gosh, if you're closed on weekends, boy, the opportunities for business that you're missing. So a little bit different uh, way of thinking. Um, but I guess people are doing different things on the weekends instead of going to wineries, which is part of the fun of traveling, right? We all enjoy seeing different cultures and different ways of approaching things. So again, thanks for stopping by. This is Budget Wine with Bacchus Bruce. Always pleased to have you here. Terrific Croatian Babic, again, from the Vinoplod Vinarija Winery. And have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time.